In June of 2013, Iran held a presidential election to replace controversial two-term president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Unlike the chief executive in many other countries, the president of Iran is second in command after the unelected supreme leader, who commands the military and has absolute authority over the Iranian government. Iran's president leads the executive branch, where he helps shape the country's domestic and foreign policies. Over 600 hopefuls registered for the 2013 campaign. Eight were approved to run by the Council of Guardians. Two dropped out, and two received less than 5% of the final vote and were not considered serious contenders for the presidency. Saeed Jalili, whose campaign slogan was Righteous Life, was the early frontrunner, based on his role as a lead nuclear negotiator. Mohammed Bakar Kalibaf, mayor of Tehran, took an early lead. Polls showed him at 39% as election day grew nearer. Former Revolutionary Guard commander Mohsen Rezaei started out strong but lost votes after lukewarm performances during the presidential debates. Hassan Rouhani, a cleric and former nuclear negotiator, gained traction in the polls thanks to a daring campaign and key endorsements. After candidates criticized the regime's nuclear diplomacy in the third national debate, Rouhani's momentum began to build. As election day approached, he took the lead in national polls when undecided voters began moving to his camp. On June 14th, the people of Iran voted, and Hassan Rouhani, once a dark horse, was elected the next president of Iran. The new president has taken the reins of a government with a deeply troubled economy, thanks to sanctions over its nuclear program and a tense relationship with the West. The question is now, can Rouhani resolve the nuclear crisis and even change the nature of the U.S.-Iran relationship?